Hadouken! I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Damn, I'm good. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one new source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Hope you all well. Back to you with a nice little news episode. Quite a few little things going on, nothing too major. And I say that. The uh, project at Resorts World has opened. People are using it. People are extremely happy with the service. They enjoy the convenience of getting from the hotel to the convention centre in under 85 seconds. I mean, people are very happy with that. And it's a very affordable price. Uh, who can complain? So, let's let's get into this. Um, so, again, you know, this is a good thing for the Boeing company. Uh, whoops, a daisy. Here we are. Um... We have some completed projects now. We, we, we're getting through our backlog of projects, which has been slowly building up. And most importantly, the Boeing company is building up its expertise in tunneling and has been improving proof rock uh, uh, greatly over the last uh, year or so. We've come out of this pandemic and really the company has, has started to grow uh, quite considerably. Uh, ultimately, it was it was hampered uh, by previous things that have been going on over the last uh, uh, two to three years. So, in terms of projects that have been completed by the Boeing Company, obviously the the, the original uh, was the Hawthorne Test Tunnel uh, under the SpaceX campus there at Hawthorne. Uh, uh, then we had the Adelanto uh, Test Tunnel, and uh, uh, during that uh, time period, we also had the Las Vegas Convention Center loop being completed. Again, another very successful project, completed on time, on budget, and to a very high quality standard. Resorts World is uh, similar. Uh, there were some major delays with, with Resorts World. Um, they were obviously implementing a new conveyor belt spoil removal system, and that didn't go quite to plan. Uh, that's been totally reworked. Uh, a lot of lessons have been learned. Some people have left the company. And they're moving on to bigger and, and better things. So it, it, it's good to see this for, for projects, essentially. Um, ultimately, they're building some test tunnels in Texas as well, near Pflugerville. And uh, hopefully, they will be completed fairly uh, soon. I anticipate they'll be completing uh, possibly up to several tunnels in that particular area. However, they've not completed any uh, as to date. So that's a good piece of news. Um so here's Resorts World, as you have probably seen in some of the videos posted online. Um, a lot of vehicles are docking in this particular area underneath um, the, the kind of uh, casino uh, campus, as it were. Um, uh, people really enjoy using it because it, it's just underneath the campus. They can go down the escalator, get in a vehicle and be at the uh, conference center in under 85 seconds, which is uh, frankly quite quite great uh, I anticipate that that time will come down uh, it might get down to around uh, 70 seconds at some point if they do increase the speed beyond 45 miles per hour but uh, we'll, we'll see that uh, um, here's the uh, alignment of the uh, of the tunnel uh, as you can see it is not a u-shaped system it is an l-shaped system that was always what was planned and it's uh, extremely fast and efficient. People are enjoying using it. And uh, uh, yeah, this is the first of many projects. As you know, um, the actual main project under the strip, which is just uh, just under 34 miles of tunnel, um, it is, is moving forward in terms of it's been given uh, uh, planning approval. And hopefully we should see that uh, starting uh, Q3, Q4 uh, next year. So what else is going on? Very, very interesting developments in regards to the, to, to the Boeing company and its integration of Dogecoin. Um, I have mentioned in the past that, that I do uh, invest in cryptocurrency and I'm an advocate of uh, uh, many cryptocurrencies. Obviously, you've got to be careful playing in this space. This is not investment advice. Uh, Dogecoin is a very interesting project um, in terms of it's got... Uh, uh, inflation built into the algorithm as it were so uh, uh, coins are produced uh, every day um, it, it's, it's very very different to some uh, pretty much different to all other projects really uh, the, the issue with Dogecoin is there is very very minimal adoption um, the Boeing company is hoping to take advantage of that so um, 
if you go to book a ride at uh, Las Vegas Convention Center uh, or the, the Resorts World, um, you can pay with Dogecoin. And that is great for adoption because the price of Dogecoin is, is very, very volatile. Uh, it could be up 20% in a day. It could be down you know, 50% in a week. Um, it, it can really spike. I believe it's around six cents at this moment in time. It could be 10 cents tomorrow. It, it's very volatile. What we need really for a lot of these cryptocurrencies is for adoption. And if adoption doesn't come, ultimately they will die. Uh, Dogecoin is a project supported via Elon Musk uh, and his team. And um, hopefully, you know, you go out and buy some maybe to use on uh, the, the Resorts World uh, loop. Uh, I certainly will be buying some, um, probably uh, several hundred, and hopefully it goes up in value. If it doesn't, well, I'll just buy some more and then I'll use it on the Las Vegas loop, you know. No skin off my back. So that's excellent to see. Hopefully we'll see that in all future projects and maybe some additional currencies. Uh, Dash, Nano, uh, Litecoin, Metal. Who knows what could el what else could be integrated into here. Uh, maybe Ethereum as well. And a few others. Polkadot. Okay. Um, a few very, very, very important tweets in regards to the robot van. Now, you you're probably thinking... Will, you're always talking about the Robovan. It, it, it's inevitable that you are going to get excited about this. Yes, I, I think the Robovan is, is a very, very key piece in the puzzle. Almost the most important piece behind uh, Proof Rock and full self-driving is this vehicle. The reason is you need high density uh, usage. So you need a vehicle that can accommodate a minimum of 10 passengers at any one time. The current Tesla vehicles are fine, you know, if you've got hundreds and hundreds of them, but it makes more economical sense to use a robo van with at least 10 seats, possibly 12 to 14 seats. So um, we know that this has been in the background that teams have been working on a robo van, but it's really very much in the prototype stage. It, it's not really got any further than that since uh, 2020 um, and there's a lot of other projects that Tesla are working on so ultimately uh, Elon Musk has decided that uh, this is becoming a priority now and they need to make sure they, they're, they're you know taking it beyond the prototype stage into maybe the alpha and beta stage and then get it into mass production um, so he says maybe Tesla should make a highly configurable roller but robo van for people and cargo um, the cargo sector also is very very important um, I, I think that that could be, you know, just in North America alone, that could be 250, 300,000 vehicles per year just for a cargo van, in my personal opinion. Um, in terms of like a people mover for the Boeing company system, uh, that then gives them the economies of scale to, to build that on the same production line and, and get the cost down below 50,000 uh, US dollars. Um, when do I think this will happen? Well, uh, as I've speculated in previous videos, it's not going to be 2025. I think it's going to be after that. I think it's going to be like 2026 when we see uh, this in production, uh, best case scenario. Um, I have some opinions on what it should look like as well. Um, as you can see, I've put the original image of the, uh, uh, the autonomous AV down at the bottom left-hand corner. I personally think that it should look something like this. The reason is... You want the simplest design possible. People are not going to be buying um, this vehicle because it looks nice. They're going to be buying it because it has full self-driving. It's got high capacity. It's efficient and it's cost effective to build and to purchase. And as long as it holds 10 seats in there, maybe there's an, a, a version that has six seats and space for, for wheelchairs uh, and luggage, then it's all good, but you need to mix it up a bit. So this is a very, very important vehicle, not just for um, Tesla, but also a super important vehicle for the Boeing company. This essentially doubles the capacity of all the proposed systems that they are currently working on, easily doubles it, and reduces maintenance costs uh, and allows them to run vehicles um, at high speeds as well because you can increase the gaps between vehicles. Not that you need a large gap, you know, the gap between vehicles only needs to be 20 meters, but uh, uh, 
if you have lots and lots of vehicles in the system, you could easily, you know, double the capacity and increase that gap to 40, 50 meters during running operations. Okay, what what else? So, Owen Sparks asked this question. Um, again, this is something else that, that is very critical, arguably more critical than the Robovan. It is full self-driving level four. Elon Musk says it's going to be later this year. Uh, I'm kind of skeptical, really I'm kind of skeptical because there's just so much going on at Tesla. There's so many plates that they're spinning, um, it, it, it's really difficult to, to kind of stay on, on target with uh, their projections. Um, I anticipate it'll be like April next year we might see it. Probably maybe slightly earlier than that but um, we'll still see drivers in vehicles but they won't technically be drivers, they'll be supervisors. Um, and once they've kind of proved that for sort of six to nine months, they'll then remove a large proportion of those supervisors slash drivers. Uh, and eventually, I at the beginning of kind of 2024, we won't have any supervisors in the system. It'll just be fully autonomous. Um, it'll be a big day for the, for the Boeing company and Tesla when that's achieved. It certainly will silence a lot of critics that, that they will be going through their Twitter, deleting all the garbage they've been posting, saying that this is impossible, that Elon Musk can't do it, that Elon Musk and Tesla are fraudsters. Um, and then when it happens, wow, well, like those guys go quiet. But it inevitably will happen. It's just dependent on when. It probably won't be this year. I know Elon Musk is saying later this year, I don't think it will personally, but uh, hopefully it'll be early uh, next year. We've it's, it's very, very close from what I've seen in terms of videos, people posting on YouTube. Um, so many examples of you know, 20, 30, 40 mile drives, no interventions. I mean, if that's not level four, I really don't know what level four is because yeah, that's incredible. 40 miles, no interventions. Very very safe. Follows all the you know the the, the road guidance. It, 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 you get, I would I would question anyone who who says that they they drive their car fully in accordance with the the highway code, because I, I drive around all day long and I I don't see anyone following the highway code. So it, it's going to make the, the the streets safer. It's going to make uh, running mass transit systems far more uh, efficient. Uh, no drivers required. Uh, and it, it means that they can compete then with buses and trains because they don't have that cost of a driver um, and they can mass produce the vehicles as well. So it's going to be a big day when that happens. Very, very, very big day. So let's hope for that. Okay, this is the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed uh, the news. It's been a big day, a big week or a fortnight for the Boeing company. Sorry that I've not covered all some of this stuff a bit earlier. Um, but yeah, so um, hope you have a great time and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you to all my Patreons. Thank you to everyone who's liking and subscribing to the video. Take care now and don't be boring. See you on the next one. Goodbye. Whoa, not that one.